What's good, YouTube? It's Philosopher Joey. Today I'm gonna be playing for you a Voltic parkour. That dude behind me has a really sick color for a car. That is awesome. I'm actually super jealous of that. But yeah, this is a Voltic parkour. Um, admittedly, when I bookmarked this, I thought it was the the Voltic rocket or whatever, the the thing with like the huge thruster on the back of it. But it's actually just this uh, electric car that isn't really all that special. But the cool thing about it is that because of that, this is actually a very, very smooth parkour. There's a lot of, it's just a really chill parkour. Like, there's not a lot of hard parts. And especially um, considering the Brioso parkour I played the other day, I'm pretty happy to be playing something that's a lot easier and doesn't have a lot of stupid parts to it. However, this one's not perfect. It still has a couple problems with it. Um, but overall, I'm a big fan of this one. This one's really well put together. And especially as you get towards the end and stuff, it's a really just like, it's a very easy race to get across. That guy, did he pick the Voltic? Yeah, he picked the Voltic. I was gonna say, he picked the wrong car if that's what I thought it was. But yeah, this part is not too bad. You just kind of have to like, you know, drive right off or whatever. A lot of this stuff is really, it, it's really easy to overthink it, but overall it's it's, it's all pretty easy stuff. But all right, this part, um, the first part probably, honestly the most annoying because it's the longest um there's not any checkpoints between like the beginning and like the there, there's how do i say it there is there is a lot of space between the beginning and the first checkpoint and there's a lot of areas that you can easily fuck up but overall it's not really something that's too difficult um just a lot of areas you gotta be like super careful with make sure you don't like like for example right here is you know something you want to take slowly you don't want to go too fast right here because you it's really hard to take this turn, <laughs> and so it's something you definitely want to be like careful with, but it's not like, it's not too bad if you take your time. And then this part right here is probably one of the few areas I'll struggle with. Um, it's admittedly not too bad, it's just that the, the thing at the very top is like really difficult to like, to get over. Oh, uh, okay. Don't, <sighs> I'm falling. <laughs> I'm falling, that sucks. Okay, let's try that again. But this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. That there's a lot of there's a lot of space between the beginning and the uh, the first checkpoint. But I should be able to get that part the second time around. Um, really, all that matters is like that you you're just lined up as well as you can be, and then you just kind of have to like go for it. I guess there's no like no hesitations or any of that stuff. But all right, let's do this. I'm not really sure where the tree branch is right there, by the way, because normally the tree branches and stuff when I've seen them in like parkours and all that, they usually have like the, the way that the game programs them, they're usually like, there's usually a space on top of the tree that your character or car or whatever will sit on or stand on, and like, for some reason that one, you just, you stand straight on the tree, so all the branches and shit break off. So it doesn't really serve a purpose on here, but who knows. It looks like there's only a few, <laughs> only a few people left. How many people we have? Four. We have four. Nice. I'm not sure why those guys are waiting either, because they, <laughs> it's not like they have to wait on me. It's non-contact. They can just go right around me, or right through my, my car, or my character, whatever. Alright, let's 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 get this shit. I, I ain't trying to waste my time on this. This should take me probably, if I'm being realistic, probably like 15 minutes or something like that to complete this race. Maybe 10 if it's, you know, if I don't struggle too much with some of these parts. Like, obviously that part is something I gotta take kind of slow, but... Really, the biggest thing, oh man, that dude just fell, that sucks. The biggest thing is just making sure that everything is like lined up the best that it can be. This part is so annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying because it's that little part right there is really difficult to get over. And it's like kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to get like enough momentum when you're on the, like this much of a runway, but it's definitely possible. There we go. Now I just gotta make sure I don't overshoot the second part. <laughs> Which it looks like I'm probably gonna go to the side if he doesn't like somehow correct course. I try to fucking move him around. It's not really working with me. Damn it. Oh shit. Well, that'll work. Fuck it. That, that works. That works. That's what I'm talking about. Second try is not too bad. Not too bad at all. But all right. I'm gonna take it super slow right here though, because this part's not hard. It's just really. It's not something I want to fuck up and have to do all that stuff over again. Because, like I said, this I still haven't even reached the first checkpoint after all of that. There's the first checkpoint. And then this is the, the second part that's probably difficult. But beyond this, it's all really easy stuff. The main reason this is hard is because there's a lot of, like, moving back and forth. you got to do, like, kind of on the fly. Like, you don't really... Not really anything you can do to control your car. Because, like, the way that it lands, it's just going to do whatever the fuck it wants. Okay, and it's still doing that. But it usually takes me a few times to get into the rhythm of getting this part, and then the 
part after that is retarded because it's like a, a half pipe. You're, you're using a fucking vehicle to, to try to do that, but... <sighs> struggling with this one. Struggling with this. I will get it this time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You just have to be like super quick with that movement right there. But once, if you can get past this part, you can get past the whole parkour. Ah, god damn it. The half pipe is not exactly the easiest thing in the world either, because it's for some reason in the game. This is again just another stupid complaint that I have about you know Rockstar and their fucking vehicles. If you if you like, obviously I'm going to the left right here, so. When I go up and I hit left, for some reason the car will just not go to the left. I don't know why it is. It just, it refuses to do it. Like, it, it's, you know, it turns a little bit, but then it'll just, like, come to a stop. It's really strange. But this may, this may be the thing that takes me the longest on this video, honestly. Alright, we're gonna get it this time, though. We're gonna get this shit. I'll go. Hell yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta get a sick thumbnail for this, but gotta make sure I also have enough speed, which is not too bad to do with the uh, with the Voltec actually. So pretty hyped that I was able to get that that early. That way we're not wasting like fucking seven minutes doing one part, because I don't edit my videos. Ha 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 ha! Get the fuck over it. All right, let's get this. Fuck yeah! All right, there we go. So yeah, the rest of this stuff should be really really easy. Um, there's not really too much that's difficult. This is like easy, seriously one of the most chill parkours like I've, I think I've ever played. I'm gonna respawn because my car is beat to shit, and I don't want a, a really bad thumbnail of, of a beat up fucking car. I mean, this is this is a nice car. This is a nice car, even though it's an electric car. But all right. But yeah, most of this stuff is really pretty easy. Like, this is the kind of stuff that like I wish more people would put in parkours like that. That way it wouldn't be like as like stressful and stuff to play some of these like some of these things like some of these people put like props together in like such stupid fashion that it's like almost impossible to navigate some of these courses and like still try to like make a video out of it but this stuff is like is really well put together the guy did a great job on this but i've played a few of this guy's parkours and stuff and he he always does a great job anyways so not really not like i expected anything less from this dude but all right this is uh it's not a difficult part, but it's the part you have to be like careful. It's not like easy cruising and stuff like the other stuff. That was a, a bad example right there of <laughs> what to do. But all right, I can, I can get it this time. Though. All right, you just gotta go like super slow on this stuff too, because naturally, you know, it's it's one of those parts that you can easily fuck up, especially right here. Um, interestingly enough, the first time that I played this, my girlfriend was watching, and she was the one that gave me the tips on how to do that part right there. Me, the guy that's been playing fucking GTA parkour for like three years and stuff, couldn't figure it out. My girlfriend, who never plays, was like, oh, well, why don't you just do this instead? Totally helped me out. Totally helped me figure out how to get across that part. But yeah, alright, so <laughs> am I really going to finish this in like less than 10 minutes? That's nice. I was totally expecting this to take like 15 minutes to complete this shit, but so far, it looks like we're smooth sailing because right there is the finish line, so... Assuming I don't fuck up on something stupid, this should be pretty easy. This will be something I'll try to leave in the the, uh, the comment section for you guys to, or in the description, so you guys can play it. All right, let me get through this. I'm just trying to make sure my car is like lined up really well so that I don't overshoot stuff. There we go. What the fuck? All right. This is pretty cool. I've never seen something like this before. All right. Just gotta get lined up on this one. Hell yeah. There we go. Nice. And then the loop. I'm not the best at these, but... Still... God, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright. So that thing actually only took, like... Nine minutes or something like that, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna see, like, how, many of the, how much these guys are actually struggling with this. It looks like finished it in nine minutes. A couple people spectating and stuff. This dude has like the sickest fucking color for a car. I'm like super jealous of that. I have no idea how you get that unless it's like a crew color maybe. This dude will have to chubby bunny 0411 or whatever. You'll have to like tell me in the comments how the fuck you got that color for that car. This is legit. But yeah, I think I'm actually gonna. Let me see where these guys are at first. I think I'm probably gonna end the video here. This guy's still at the beginning. 
Well, yeah, this is going to be where I end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again.